<laughs> okay, wow. So, uh, as I remember yesterday, uh, we started and completed these two parts, and now we're going to learn some words compound adjectives so first of all what they are and how to use them look when we say compound adjective it means the combination of two parts okay like heart hopping heart breaking so actually they are the combination they consist of two parts or two words and normally uh, can be, for example, two nouns, or for example, uh, noun and present participle. So it depends, but normally two nouns. So these type of adjectives, like for example, heartbreaking, or for example, breathtaking, they are compound adjective that includes two parts. Okay, now. We're going to learn the meaning of them one by one. So the first one, when something is breathtaking, it means it's extremely good, beautiful. So we say, for example, that scenery, we went to, for example, to the mountain and it was really beautiful. The scenery, the scene was breathtaking taking it means extremely beautiful so the first one let me write one by one breath taking extremely beautiful good Okay, so this is the meaning of this word. And the second one, the second one, eye popping. So what is the meaning of the second? Can you guess when something yes. is popping? Amazing. Eye popping means amazing. Very good, amazing. And Oh, heartbreaking. So what is this one? Do you know? No. Heartbreaking. Like you know? I don't know. Heartbreaking. When, when something, for example, is sad. So feeling of great sadness, disappointment is actually uh, the, the state is heartbreak, and when something is heartbreaking, it means it makes you feel really sad and disappointed. So, heartbreaking means something or someone that makes you feel very sad and disappointed. You are saying you're going to be singer. <laughs> OK, this OK, the next one horrid warming. So it's something that causes you feel happy. Because usually, for example, something nice happened. So when something is heartwarming, means it causes you to feel happy. Normally, because something nice happened. Okay. Well, the next one, man eating. What is this one? Can you guess? Um, mouse 
man eating is the people that eat. <laughs> yeah, of course, can be something that, for example, people eat, you say? Yes. Actually, you know, <laughs> we have, let me say something. We can use this phrase as an idiom that person who has many lovers, you know? <laughs> so it can be many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Like, for example, a person who had many lovers. So, of course, it depends where to use it. But, for example, let me see which sentence I can use so that I can show. Okay, look. Okay, this one is definitely different here, but lions and tigers are man eating animals. So, this one here, actually, as you said, we use it as something for that, for example, like, you know, man eating. Okay, so. This is, as you said, what it means. So first of all, EDM. Let me write. EDM means someone who has many lovers. But here, of course, we don't use it this way. Well, it means, can you say? Man eating animals? Man you said. That's what, yeah, you said. Man eater, man eating. Okay, so when man you say eater, man, eater, man eater, of course. Man eater is an animal, or for example, that can be Prey, prey means, for example, an animal that is haunted by another animal or, for example, human. On humans, so this is like, for example, normal life, haunting behavior, okay? So, this is the meaning of it. So, we can eat animals, animals can eat us. Man eater, man eating. So, yeah. Okay, and now let's see, let's see. Oh, oh we have, just let me write here. <clears throat> well, the next one, no fluttering. Ah, I think one. Delicious. When something is delicious, we say it's mouth watering. Ah, mind numbing. So this one is boring. When something is mind numbing, meaning it's boring. It's boring and never ending. What it means? Yeah, you can guess. Can you guess? Never ending. Never no, ending. Is have no end. Of course, have no end and record breaking. For example, when something is recurred, bracker, better, greater. So, better, greater, recurred, bracking, like better and greater than past greater than past or for example comparing something else okay for example this album for example taylor swift's last album was record breaking greater best better okay and 
the, na the next one, thought provoking. Do you have any idea about this? Of course, no. When something is thought provoking, it causes people to think seriously about something. So, Provoking means causing people to think seriously. Let me type it here. Well, let's read them from the beginning. Could you please read the word? Yes. I, re I read a, I read a heart breaking article in the newspaper today that make me cry. Yeah. The movie had. Uh, just, 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 could you, could you say your answer again, please? Sorry, my dear. I read a heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, so heart just, you know, yeah, pay attention. So it's heartbreaking. Okay. Yeah. Article in newspaper that today that make me cry. The movie had um had I don't know. It's okay. How about I popping? The ah, movie, yes. yeah, amazing, eye-popping special effect. So how about this? Okay. Yes. Next one. Lions and tigers, like polar bears, lions, tigers are? Why? Lion and tiger are man eating. Okay. Yeah. Man, man eating. Eating animal. Yeah. Animals. Just let me say something. I uh, actually, I think here it's not about to have another one that is man eater. This one is better because when we say man eating, of course, it's okay. Man eating is an adjective, but animal that, for example, hunts and can kill and eat human is man eater. So man eater is better, I think. So. A wild animal, just let me, a wild animal that kills and eats people. Oh, so they are man eater and man eating is an action. This one is better. So. I think it's better to say man eater. Man eater animals like tiger and of course we have man eating. Just let me write. Okay. And this way. So yes, you're man eater. Don't go to the forest. They may eat you. Okay, do you know any other man eater animal? No. Oh, really? You don't know? There are lot. What animals can eat us? Like large crocodiles? Yeah, crocodiles? Like, I don't uh, know. And 
elephants. Oh, no, elephants don't eat us. They eat leaves. No. Sometimes. Sometimes. No, they can't, they can't eat us. No, no. Crocodiles, yes. Large crocodiles. Polar birds, yes. Leopard, yes. But you know about this one? Lions, yes. But no, elephants, no. Maybe they put their feet on us and just smash us. <laughs> but no, they can't eat us. So, yeah. Okay, the next one, my dear. I... It was a rough king movie that made me think about what it must be like to be homeless. Okay, so could you say again the answer is? Uh, made... A throw... Thought... Thought provoking. Thought provoking means something that Thought makes you feel and make, makes you think about something. Yes. Like for example, it makes me think about this movie, this film, everything. So it's thought provoking. Okay. And the next one. Uh, I heard. I heard a uh, cheered me off means made me happy. I heard a uh, heart warming. Heart warming, yeah, of course. Heart warming, yeah, of course. Very good. Just let me like uh, write. Cheer me up. May me happy. Cheer me up means makes me happy. The work was was what? I've never been so bored in all my life because my work is boring. Heard warming story. Okay, yeah. For Number five, I heard a hard warming story that really cheered me up. Number six. Number six. The work was record breaking. Read to the end first and then decide. I would never, okay, I'd never been so bored in all my life. I had never been so bored because it was boring. Oh, it was boring. So what is that? I... Um, that is the worst word, mind-numbing. Mind-numbing, yeah, very good. Mind-numbing means boring, very good. And the next one, it was a clear day. The of the mountain were beautiful, extremely beautiful. Number seven, this was a clearly day and the views from the top of the mountain are breath talking. Taking, breath taking. taking, yes, of course, extremely beautiful. And the next one.
What are you doing? Number eight. <laughs> Number eight. Rose. Wash. H blade. Yeah. At age 33, swam around Britain in a um actually it was a record for him so it was a record so um this is It's record breaking. Record breaking. Yeah, record breaking because it was a record for him. So, a hundred fifty-seven days, and he did the best. His best. So, of course, it was a record, a new record, some record breaking, and the smell of cooking was. Mm, The smell of cooking was the uh, uh was mouth watering. Very good, mouth watering. And number ten, here's a story. Went on, continued, continued, and what's mouse? What's typing? No, I'm didn't typing and things. You're typing to me. He is typing. <laughs> no, I didn't typing. What I have here? <laughs> when you type, I can see. <laughs> Girl, teachers have. And eyes. <laughs> no. okay. Well, so the last one. I uh, his his story went on and was never ending. Never ending. Yeah, never, never ending. ending. Yes. And go on, go on means continue. When something goes on means it continues, okay? Okay. Okay, just stop. Okay, let's have a look at what happened. Okay, yeah, you've done now. Now you're not typing. Uh, again? <laughs> oh, I can see. <laughs> Oh, you typed all the answers. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Well, and now let's do the last part together. Last part. Yeah. Sharing pictures. How many the sentences with the correct word? I hate that picture of me. Because, because it's so access. Because it's so access. 
embarrassing. Access embarrassing. Embarrassing, yeah. Embarrassing something that makes you feel embarrassed, shy. Okay, so embarrassing something. I will type pain. Of course. Embarrassing. <laughs> I will type pain and you agree. Oh. <laughs> I do something that makes you embarrassed. Te teacher, can I drink water? Can I drink water? Of course, of course. Yes. Oh, yes, thanks. Grapes? <laughs> you have grapes? Yes. Oh, good for you. Okay. <laughs> well, just eat it. It's okay. Healthy, mouth watering. <laughs> okay. Well, so the sec the second one. Me in that picture if you share it. For example, when you want to share Protect. Uh, Protect me. No, 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 no. Tag me. Tag means add my name and ID. For example, oh, this is Monica. So if you want to know, just click and you, you can, for example, what happened? <laughs> what? what are you doing? Okay, so tag me. It um, means add person's name or id to a photograph okay okay so that people can easily oh, find yeah. so tag me let me write let me raise the board i need okay i don't have to well so Okay. Tag means to add a person name mm -hmm. all teachers. You can add, okay? So first yes, dear. Uh, I see why you don't, why you turn off your camera. No, I'm not. I'm sharing. Let me share it again. Yes. Let me share it again. It's okay now. But yes. I think you, you, your picture. Why your screen is foggy, <laughs> cloudy. 
What happened? What did you do? I didn't do anything with my screen. Yeah, I think you need to. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I know your connection is good, but you know. Really, really good. But your, your picture is blurred. It's something like it's foggy blurred. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, so tag, listen, tag to add a person. So tag me in that picture if you share it so that people know that it's my photo, it's my picture, okay? Or for example, they can easily find me. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay. Just, just, just remove it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. No tablet was needed. What happened? Your picture is frozen. Your screen is frozen and I can't hear you anymore. Oh, uh, the can you hear me now? Dear Keva. I can't hear you and I can't see you anymore because your picture's frozen, my dear. Peter, can you hear me? Keva. What? The screen is frozen. Oh no, teacher. Um, hello. Teacher, 